Hey everyone, so nowadays, you know, it's so easy to build something with AI, whether it be via Lovable, V0, you can, there's a bunch of different AI tools coming out. And a lot of these generations that people are creating look very AI generated, right? So that, you know, they, they, they have like a very standard design system, whether it be with the buttons kind of having the same type of border radius or using the same types of colors or or fonts or, or spacing between, um, you know, the different sections. But what if, what if you could find any type of website out there, whether it be like Airbnb or, or Framer or Webflow, whatever, any website that you like and kind of capture their design style or their design system, so to say, and then implement that into your own design, all using AI. So in today's video, we're just, we're going to be doing just that, right? We're going to look for a cool website that we like. We like their certain design system, whether it be their colors, topography, their effects that they have, and kind of convert that into a, you know, piece of code that we can use in Magic Path, which is my favorite AI designing tool. And once we can basically design something with this design system, we can bring it into Cursor and actually build out our product there. And by the way, guys, I have a Discord community. It's, you know, completely free to join. We're about like 500 people and we're people from all over the world, basically builders, designers, um, startup founders, side hustlers. And we basically get together every single weekday um, to basically talk about different topics, talk about how we're feeling, talk about our struggles, our successes. So if you guys are interested in joining that and joining one of those calls or just chatting with us, feel free to join that Discord invites down in the description below. Now we can use something like DoorDash, right? DoorDash has this very, you know, playful little font here, nice colors like this red color for the buttons. You know, it looks pretty specific. It has this nice little reddish shade color, uh, red buttons, um, nice images. We also have these different um, basic selectors. The footer is also black. So all in all, it's a, you know, pretty nice design. You, you know, everyone is subjective as to what design is good or bad, but let's just choose this one for an example. And you can basically inspect this, right? And then go to styles and you can, what you, what you can basically do is just copy all of this stuff over here and show all the properties, right? And just copy all of the properties and bring them into something like Claude. And once you're in Claude, you can just paste this in there and we can go into we can go into tweak CN and we can ask Claude to basically provide us with the code from DoorDash to be in this format, right? So let's just copy this and let's paste that. Then we can say, provide me with the code from the text that starts with element to be in the format of the text that starts with root. So element and root, click on submit. And actually we can click on Claude Opus 4, just try that out. And then it says, looking at the two files we provided, I can see that the first file contain, contains CSS custom properties from what happens to be DoorDash's Prism design system, while the second file shows a more modern CSS custom property setup. So to convert the CSS from the first format to match the, sec the structure of the second format, I'll create a comprehensive CSS file that organizes all the properties from paste into root and dark structure using paste to text. All right, so you get it. Let's just wait for this to be basically created. And then inside of Magic Path, what, you, what we have here, which is very new, is this design system. And basically you can create the design systems. You can use existing design systems from other companies like OpenAI, Claude, Airbnb, Twitter, Ramp. And you can also duplicate these and you know adjust them in your own style or create some from scratch or import them. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're just going to paste in the code that Claude provided us with. And we're gonna hit on apply. And then you can see automatically we get the same type of color color scheme that, that uh, basically DoorDash provided us with. So we even have like this foreground color as well. As you can see, I can, I can for example, um, hover over different sections like this and we get this nice red like that. You can also see in this date range, it looks very nice with this nice hover. And we have different um, components that show, you know, different types of graphs. So once we're happy with this, we can click on save and call this one DoorDash. Click on save design system. And now we can just double click anywhere and we can create something. We can create some type of design like a modern SaaS landing page and choose 
this DoorDash design system, click on submit, and we basically get a landing page with the same exact design system that DoorDash has, completely responsive, right? So it can look like this, it's all responsive all the way to the mobile view, looking fantastic. Again, it does need that human touch of yours to kind of go in to details and say, hey, I want the footer to be, to be black. I want the, the hero section to have a red background, but the AI has the DoorDash design system in, in the back of its head. So it basically, it's gonna create all of these different pages with that design system into account. Now we can choose something like webflow.com, which has this blue, which has a specific type of button with this border radius, you know, has this color for this text, it has a bunch of different things that look nice, has these dark backgrounds over here. What we can do is we can again, click on inspect and go into the styles and basically do the same process, right? You wanna basically copy the entire styles over here and bring them into Claude. And we can do it in the same chat. We can just paste in this, this uh, you know, CSS code and basically say, now let's do it with this one, right? Click on enter. And now since this is generated, we can just copy this, go back into magic path and click on design system. Now what we wanna do is we want to, again, import this, press paste, click on apply, and we can see already that our design system has been applied. And again, you just wanna kind of review everything to see if everything looks good. Things might not be perfect, so you wanna kind of adjust. For example, I can see that the button radius is kind of round compared to what Webflow has, which is a little bit more sharp, I think, on the edges. So you can go ahead into effects and, you know, decrease the border radius to something like this. And then once you're happy, you just can click on save. Let's say Webflow, right? Click on save design system. And then we can double click here and choose the Webflow design system. And what we can do here is just create one of these examples, right? We can create like a music player or like an expense tracker. Let's just do an expense tracker in the style of Webflow. Click on submit. But yeah, we get an expense tracker looking like Webflow, right? We see the different buttons with the sharp edges. We can highlight over certain sections like this and you can see looking like this and we can even make it mobile. You can all see it's all responsive, right? So this is a great way of kind of taking a style from some type of website and then basically bringing that into, into AI and creating different designs based on that main style or system, right? Design system. Yeah, and like I showed you before, a great way to, I mean, you could eventually keep on doing that and just taking these design systems from existing websites, but TweakZN also has a great way of creating this, these different design systems. So um, what I can do is I can click on something like Tangerine, for example, uh, and what we can do is we can switch this to light mode and we can get the code, copy the code, go back into Magic Path, click on design system and let's just import this, paste it like that, click on apply and we get our tangerine system looking exactly like it is inside of TweakCN, right? So right over here, looking the, the exact same way, right? We have this gray color, white cards and we can click on save. And then again, you know, go down here, double click and we can click on the tangerine one that we just added and we can create, create like a, I don't know, like a file upload component, that's that's pretty interesting. Click on submit, right? So we can upload a file like this and we basically get these um, uploaded files over here, right? We can clear this. This is not a great example. We can also try, for example, to create a landing page. So let's just double click. And this is a much better example, right? We have our website, Flow Sync, transform your workflow with intelligent automation. And we have that background color with this white, you know, card or white foreground type of color and with these orange highlights and the buttons and so on and so forth. So yeah, definitely recommend looking at TweakCN to look at all of these different um, you know, styles over here. And you can basically edit this to your liking. You can make something like this or you know, change the primary color, change the topography and kind of integrate that into Magic Path. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.